Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <clears throat> In this lecture, we discuss about the Schrodinger wave equation for a central potential. In this section, we study the structure of Schrodinger wave uh, equation for particle of mass m mass m moving in a spherical symmetric potential v r just like the case of hydrogen atom here is some proton a nucleus one electron is moving here it has angular momentum capital l the time independent shooting wave equation for this particle with the momentum momentum is generally capital p and here minus a yota h bar del and position r is given by this is the kinetic energy is the potential energy and psi the wave function is equal to the total energy and psi wave function at psi is equal to e psi this is the Schrodinger wave equation since the hamiltonian is spherically symmetric we are going to use the spherical coordinate r theta and phi x is equal to r sine theta cos phi y is equal to r sine theta sine phi that is equal to r cos theta when we convert the cartesian coordinate in the spherical coordinates and laplacian del squared separate into uh, radial part and the angular part radial part and this is the angular part here del square omega which is for the angular part we can write here okay, angular angular momentum operator square and for this operator as you know capital l square in previous chapter we have discussed about uh, this l square is equal to this one when, when we take the orbital angular momentum in terms of spherical coordinate, listen. Now we have this equation. This just replacing the kinetic energy part here. The kinetic energy is converted into two types of kinetic energy one the radial kinetic energy, the other is the rotational kinetic energy. And this is the potential energy psi r is equal to e psi r. And L square does not depend on radius uh, and L that commute with L square three operator H L Z and L square are mutually commute. This is Hamiltonian, this is angular momentum square, this is Hamiltonian L Z is the orbital angular momentum along that axis. Now, here you can see when L square is operating on this part, this is actually spherical harmonics, Y, L, M, uh, L, M, theta, phi. This is the spherical harmonics because we can convert the wave function into radial and as the and these spherical parts and radial part is r and angular part is theta phi dependent part this is also called spherical harmonics when l square is operating on the spherical harmonics we get at bar square l into l plus y similarly when l that is operating on this spherical harmonic part we have m and h bar y l and theta Here, this is the explanation of the psi r. Psi r uh, in terms of three coordinate r theta phi, it can be equivalent to the radial part and this is spherical harmonic part, angular part. Now, we are again using the Schrodinger wave equation, kinetic energy part plus potential energy part, and this is the, rather than writing, writing the psi, we write the radial and the angular part. Rather than writing psi, we write the radial angular part. 
now divided by r and y theta phi, we get this term divided by r theta phi. This equation can be obtained in this form and then divided by m r square and then rearrange. After rearranging, we have a two part. One is this part, which is independent of theta and phi, which is actually the radial part. And this is the angular part. And because this is uh, independent of theta and phi, this is independent of r. Now, we divide in by we are dividing by two m r square. This is just, just simple mathematics. And at the end, we achieve this equation. Here, this is the actually the radial equation for the central potential. Because it depends on capital L, but it does not depend on magnetic quantum number. Here, V, our potential has a two forms. One is this VR, another is this one. This is called the attractive potential. This is this repulsive potential, sum of attractive and the repulsive potential is called the effective potential. Is explained in this diagram. This is the attractive potential. This is some repulsive potential, and some of these two is just here for different orbital uh, quantum. Number. For L is equal to one, we have this shape. For L is equal to two, we have this shape. For L is equal to three, we have. It means when L is equal to zero, we have just only this part, repulsive part, uh, sorry, attractive part, when L is equal to zero. 